like many of you, I'm trying to keep up on what's going on in the world today. Uh, if you've read a newspaper, magazine, if you've uh, looked at the local news or the national news, I'm sure that like everyone else, you're talking about the presidential campaign. Everybody's got an opinion about what's going to happen or what should happen, and yet there's an old adage that says there's two things you shouldn't talk about, religion and politics. And it seems like with this election, we can't stop talking about both of them. In fact, for the last 30 years or so, politics and religion have been so intertwined that you can't separate the two of them, one from another. If you're going to have a conversation about one, especially in a presidential election, it seems like the other follows. There's a little bit of a twist uh, with this campaign, though, that's quite interesting. Typically, when religion is discussed, the Republican Party is discussed or identified as the religious party, the, quote, Christian party, the evangelical party. And Democrats are pushed aside as the party of the non-Christians or the non-believer. In fact, the last time a Democratic presidential candidate made their faith an issue in the campaign was when Jimmy Carter ran in 1976. But yet today, that whole story's flipped. Interestingly, 78% of white evangelicals find Donald Trump is a candidate they support and yet, almost half of those white evangelicals do not believe that he is a Christian or a person of faith. On the other side, Hillary Clinton is supported by 66% of the non-religious people, atheists, those who don't attend church, those who uh, question whether or not there is a God. And while Mr. Trump very seldom speaks of any kind of faith, typically presenting himself as a Presbyterian, Mrs. Clinton speaks often about her Christian faith, about her Methodist values. It's a whole different world, it seems like. Why is that? What's made the change? Well, that's what we discuss in this month's edition of our e-letter, Crossing Currents. If you're a subscriber, you can read and get our thoughts on it. Love to hear yours. If you're not a subscriber, go to the website, crosswindsfoundation.org, click on the subscribe button, and we'll send you a copy as well. Don't know who you're voting for, but it sure is interesting talking about it. I'm Bob Walter for Crosswinds Foundation.